previous videos, we showed how you can easily set up Data Server Manager and walk through some of the basic product features. In this video, we will add a repository database to enable the advanced features of the Enterprise Edition. To expand on the basic setup of Data Server Manager to manage an enterprise environment for improved scalability, function, and access control, you must have the Enterprise Edition installed and a dedicated relational database that you will use as a data repository. If you have installed the base edition of the software, you can upgrade to the Enterprise Edition by applying a license activation kit. You use the product setup page to connect to and configure the repository database. Specify the connection details and the user credentials for the repository database. Click Test Connection to verify that you can connect and then click OK. When you have completed the repository database configuration, additional product features are enabled. This Enterprise Edition feature provides recommendations for improving the performance of SQL queries or workloads, such as updating statistics, creating new indexes, and converting tables from row to column format for blue acceleration. You can also control application clients that are connected to the databases by throttling to reduce the maximum number of simultaneous connections to a database, by managing workload balance settings, or by redirecting applications to other DB2 servers. You can also monitor and track changes to the configuration of specific database objects, registry variables, and configuration or customer key settings to help diagnose problems. You can compare database server configurations to see differences between two databases, such as test and production, or to clone configurations from multiple databases to create best practices configuration templates. Data Server Manager Enterprise Edition continuously stores monitoring metrics in the repository database to provide you with both historical data and real-time data about your databases. For example, you can generate a report or look at the executed SQL statements over a specific time period to identify frequent and long-running queries. You can select a single statement for tuning or multiple statements for workload tuning. You can look at the historical details of a statement to analyze its performance, trend, and behavior. You can use the time slider to select the specific time period that you are interested in. The time history area includes a graph that shows historical statement activity and also shows statement data such as total lock wait time, number of executions, activity wait time, execution time, and CPU time. The input output history area includes a corresponding graph as well as details about statement input-output activities such as total rows read, rows returned, sort overflow and logical and physical reads. You can also analyze data access patterns and storage growth over a time period. For example, you can view the historical graph for a table performance with detailed access metrics. Data Server Manager analyzes storage savings potential for your tables and provides suggested actions to implement adaptive and static compression or to reclaim trapped storage. With Data Server Manager Enterprise Edition, you can centrally manage and control the behavior of client applications that connect to your monitored databases. You can view the detailed information about the client application. To minimize resource consumption, you can collect client data on demand at the database level. You can drill down to gain end-to-end -end insight of application stacks, including application time, driver time, network time, and data server time, broken down by IP address. You can also look at its historical data over a time period with details of total times and times for each execution. 
In this video, we enabled the Enterprise Edition features of the product by adding a repository database. We then described some of these features, such as performance tuning and application control, monitoring and tracking configuration changes, analyzing historical monitoring data for statement analysis and storage optimization, and monitoring and managing client applications.